Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Sagittarius their weekly love read. Sag, this is the week of October 11th through the 17th. We are going to do you, them, and the connection. These are general readings, so please take, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. <laughs> if you feel like this reading is just not resonating with you at all, then please um, go ahead and check your moon and rising signs and see if those resonate any better. If you don't know what your moon and rising signs are, there is the link in the description box below that will take you to a website to give you that information. Um, these, like I said, are general reads. If you're interested in a personal read, um, just specifically for you. Um, ooh. Um, I'm sorry, if you're interested in a personal read, there is a link below also to my website, so you can check that out. My website will tell you um, how to get a personal read. Sorry, these cards are throwing me off. Um, thank you again, as always, for coming to my channel. I do appreciate you watching, and I really appreciate the support. Um, in this read, we're also going to get a message of love oracle card from All Things Intuitive, and then we're also going to get a White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message, Volume 1, as well as close off the reading with, wow, your cards are just like going nuts, um, a Moonology Oracle card by Yasmin Boland. All right, so on the bottom of the deck, uh, Eight of Pentacles, hard work. Um, this is a love read. So this could be y you feeling like you're working really hard on maintaining a relationship, or you could be just really focused on your work and not focused on love. So I'm going to pause this after until after I kind of go through your other cards to see what we have here. So you're coming up, Sag, as... I don't, I don't know, king and queen of pentacles. You have the king and the queen of pentacles. So I feel like you are really kind of focused on your finances and trying to stabilize um, a situation. Uh, I mean, normally this would be great if these showed up in like you in the them pile, like a really stable situation but you're showing up both as the king and the queen of pentacles so i think that you're and with the eight of pentacles being on the bottom of the deck i think you're really focused on your work you're but you're you're not i mean it's not a bad thing right you're you're working on getting stability uh you're committed you're loyal right so you have lots of great qualities um but i think you're really focused on your pentacles and you are also this is just really interesting to me you are also trying to find some balance here. So you're trying to balance things out after um, reflection, like this deep judgment of self, reflection of like, what is it that you want? What is it that you need? Um, how do you need to get that? What did you do in the past that didn't work? What, did, what are you going to try in the future to make other things work? So I think you're really kind of focused on stabilizing your financial situation and really focusing on this self-judgment piece. Um, I feel like, I'm not sure I like the vibe of this so far. Not that that's horrible, right? But I feel like, I feel like you're trying to stabilize the situation yourself. Um, your person is showing up as the Ten of Cups. So this person could potentially be a soulmate of yours, right? They, um, they have lots of love to offer. They have like this family kind of oriented, this, this feeling of being family, feeling like family, wanting a family. Um, the Ten of Cups is the highest love card. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh my goodness, excuse me, it, within the number parts um, before it goes into the, the different suits. But um, so your person's showing up with a lot of love, passion, a page of wands, someone that's passionate, flirty, sexy. Perhaps they've been texting you, um, sending you messages, or they're just this flirty, sexy, passionate energy. But there's some like lies and deception here. So uh, they could be potentially lying to themselves about a situation or lying to you about a situation. They could be a liar or they could be lying to themselves and not really being um, clear on what they want or what they need. 
I kind of feel like maybe they're like this self deceit. Maybe like you're figuring out is it what exactly you want and they're kind of lying to themselves about what they want. Um, the connection is, I mean, this doesn't really feel like a love read to me very much, but um, we have the page of pentacles. So that could be like the someone bringing good news, but it's like a slow, steady, slow and steady, committed, loyal energy, right? So this situation could be slow and steady. But I feel like um, there's something that's really kind of blocking this progression of this relationship. This could be a karmic partner. This could be an addictive personality. This could be a workaholism. Um, it could be dr alcoholism, drug addiction. Um, I feel like the devil card to me often represents... Like something that we self-imprison ourselves with. It's not something we can't overcome. It's not something that's really truly externally external from us. It's something that we kind of put ourselves in this imprisonment. And you can see that the devil's kind of playing him like a puppeteer. But um, I feel like something's blocking this relationship from moving forward. Um is it a divorce situation? Is someone getting divorced? Are you thinking about getting divorced? Because we also have like the balance card for you. The Libra card can be balanced. Or maybe it's just this is a slow and steady relationship, right? But something's blocking it from being balanced. I'm going to... Um... I'm going to ask, like, what is the future for this connection? Because I feel like either you're getting divorced, like, this potentially could be, like, a person you're married to with this Ten of Cups, and then the there's lies and deceptions, and so it's going to end in a divorce. Maybe that's why you're analyzing things and trying to balance things out and work on your pentacles. Let me see what... <laughs> Yeah, I think that might be the the the, the situation. Um, because I'm asking like, what's the future? I get the two of wands, which is picking a path, right? The five of cups, which is sadness, withdrawal, depression, like watching something slip away, and then the bottom of the deck is the three of swords, with all the sadness. Ooh, um, Sagittarius. I feel like this is not a great love read, right? Uh, after that, though, we did have the Empress and then the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like, um, I feel like, Sag, I'm sorry. I feel like you're focused on your Pentacles. You're focused on getting balanced. You're focused on judging and analyzing a situation. Um, your person could potentially be someone you're married to um, or someone that is a soulmate energy that's very loving, has a lot of love to offer you, is very flirty fiery, passionate, but there's some lies and deceptions there. Um, the connection is a stable, grounded one, but it's very slow moving. Uh, some kind of addictive type tendency with the devil being there is kind of blocking that relationship, right? Um, either an addiction of a, an obsession, uh, a dependency on something, karmic partner, could be an affair. Um, then we have the justice card, which is a legal situation when I see this card I almost always think divorce and or a love read could be some other kind of legal situation though I guess but um with this picking a path to move forward I feel like you have a choice between some people and there's going to be like some sadness so but after that sadness is the empress and an ace of pentacles so a new start with your divine counterpart Tough read, Sag. Tough read. We're going to get Messages of Love Oracle card from All Things Intuitive. I'm shedding, sorry. Let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? Yikes. Second chance. So there we go. That makes me feel a little bit better. Sorry, I don't know if more flipped over. Um, this relationship deserves a second chance. Okay, good. 
So maybe that's kind of what you're trying to figure out. Maybe that's why you're focused on your pentacles right now and things are sad, but you are going to give this relationship a, a second chance. And then on the bottom it says true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Yeah, so maybe so maybe even throughout all this sadness, maybe you guys are just hitting a sad point. Um, but, you know, in the end, things are going to work out for you. You deserve to give it a second chance. Okay, I have a hair on me when I shuffle. Um, we're going to get a white rose guidance. Divine love message, volume one. I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible, and you feel like a warm home to me. So maybe maybe that's some of the, the feelings that are going to kind of bring you back around. Okay, Sagittarius, we're going to finish off your read with a Moonology Oracle card from Yasmin Boland. This one's coming up a ton of times. Um, be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. And then on the bottom of the deck it says expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. So be bold and make the first move. You know, maybe that's kind of like, you know, maybe someone did do something kind of crappy to you, Sag, and you're really kind of evaluating the situation. You're staying focused on your pentacles. You're trying to find balance. You're judging what you did or didn't do or should or shouldn't do. And maybe the first move is to offer this a second chance. Maybe to tell that person you, you don't want this to be over. I do think you have some obstacles to, to go through, some sadness. But the Empress is here, like I said, and then the Ace of Pentacles. So after you get out of your head. So I think um, it has the potential to end well. But this is just one week at a time. So... Um, I'm going to leave it right there, Sad. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I do really appreciate all your support. Um, I hope you all take care. Send in extra big hugs if this is resonating. Um, and until next time, guys, take care. Bye.